to be willing to spend on some level. They rarely, rarely do free agent visits. They are doing one this time. That should show you how serious, at least on its face, the Patriots are about DeAndre Hopkins. KJ and Don Darrow, good Sunday to you. 617-779-7937. Text line 37937. Mark, it, it, is it going to be Christmas in June for the Patriots when DeAndre Hopkins has his scheduled visit this week? KJ, what's up, man? You? Um, no, it's that's more like you're, you know, you're buying a, a tool set on a Wednesday from the hardware <laughs> store. I mean, well, it's nice might, to get. You need it. You want maybe one. Maybe you get a good price. Maybe you get a good price on Wednesday. Yeah, you might get a good price. I don't think it's Christmas. Wow, what a what a gift we're getting. I I, I think they should do it. I'd be interested. Um, but this isn't Darrell Revis, 2014, coming on board, or Randy Moss coming on board, 2007. Nothing, not even close to that. Not even close. So here's where I have kind of some issues with the excitement level about this is that you know you're getting a depreciating value, right? Like DeAndre Hopkins knows that he has a control in the conversation if it is coming to the Patriots. And and I'm one that believes that there's just no way that he is not going to try and get to a situation where he can get closer to the money that he thinks he could get versus getting into a situation that people feel is ideal. Would it be ideal for him to be in the receiver room? Absolutely, he would be the best receiver in the room immediately by at least two receivers. But... Does he solve the problem? Does he make this team now a playoff caliber team? No. And and I wonder, Mark, really, and I'm just going to put it out there, could DeAndre Hopkins coming for this visit this week be kind of a Trojan horse? For those who don't know, Trojan horse, you might know it as your computer. But during the times of Rome, you would send this big wooden horse, right? And then you come through the gates and be like, oh, it's cool. It's like a big wooden horse. And then out would jump the soldiers and would attack the situation. I'm not buying that everything is water under the bridge with O'Brien and with DeAndre Hopkins. Are you? No. Uh, But I guess it doesn't matter if he's willing to come here. Uh, I don't – I mean, I I don't know. I'm not convinced he's willing to come here. He could be using the Patriots to increase his value or manipulate the market. But, I mean, a visit feels like real interest, doesn't it? No, it feels kind of one of those – and I'm going to go into my – the grandma, if you will, or mom. Baby, sometimes you need to get into a person's pace face and forgive them and then move on. Because I, I'm just thinking back to the Sports Illustrated article from a couple of years ago, uh, and I'm just lifting words from the article. It says that Hopkins can't recall his coach ever asking about his personal life, that's you know Bill O'Brien, or expressing concerns about his off-field choices. In this meeting that Hopkins had with Michael, uh, that he told Michael Irvin about that Michael Irvin would later report on on ESPN, Mm -hmm. uh, talking about Hopkins' friends that O'Brien brought up another player that he coached, and that was Aaron Hernandez. (laughs) Like, these are things that kind of stay with you because I I don't know if you've seen the Aaron Hernandez story. Tell me if you haven't, right? And then there's the alleged comment of baby mothers in the reference to Hopkins' three children not being married. Some people close to O'Brien say that that doesn't sound like his words. It would come out of his his exact words, you know. But either way, there's a disconnect. So tell me how he had a disconnect with O'Brien when he was the head coach, and now everything's going to be cool when O'Brien's not the head coach but is an immediate coach. I have no idea. Are you saying, are you asking me if I think that this whole thing is a smokescreen and it's not actually a realistic? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's a possibility. I think that's a possibility, but, I mean, I don't know anything about the relationship he has with Bill O'Brien currently. I don't know anything about how he views a relationship or potential partnership with Bill Belichick. I I I honestly don't even know that much about his market. Does he have that many teams interested? Well, I think part of it is, what are you asking for? So let's go, like like DraftKings says, here are the teams and the odds of them landing DeAndre Hopkins. The Bills are 3-1. to I say throw that out because Stephon Diggs was already – going off about not getting balls with guys on the team that the team had already drafted. Like, you know what I mean? Like you're the leading guy on that team. And if you're complaining about not getting the ball, you don't want another alpha in the room. So let's scratch the bills off. Right. Can we agree to that? Okay. The chiefs have proven they're, they're at four to one. They are proven that they could win a title with Juju Smith Schuster and Juju Smith Schuster's here. So I scratch off the chiefs because they have a formula that says we can win with Tyreek Hill. We don't need a dominant a one receiver to get to where we need to get to. So I would scratch them off. 
I'm not going to scratch off the Chiefs. I don't think that is out of the possibility necessarily. Okay, the Ravens at six and a half to one. They just got Odell Beckham Jr., so I can't see them now going to go get DeAndre Hopkins. I think they have a lot in mind for Zay Flowers. Plus, they still have the you know the the tight end situation with Andrews. So I don't think they're they're in the play either. You know who's at seven to one? Who's that? Just ahead of the minute, uh, just ahead of the New England Patriots, the New York Jets. Mm-hmm. Ready for this Trojan horse? Okay. The Jets still have about twenty three million of cap space they can spend. So if they get rid of say one or two guys and still give Hopkins somewhere around nineteen a year, they still they're still under the cap. They can make that move. The Patriots are nowhere near that. So DeAndre Hopkins still is going to want to get his money. Like what? Like like I don't know if I even let him out there just touch a football. You just don't know, especially what happened in the draft where you remember the Patriots traded with Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh was able to steal away the offensive lineman that Aaron Rodgers wanted. Okay, so I don't know how to, I don't know how that calculates to the Patriots getting screwed out of DeAndre Hopkins. I think he ends up with the Jets. That's the screw job. Okay, I I, I can see it right because here you have two guys who have a history together, you know, and it seems pretty it's pretty powder keggish. I think that we could agree to that. It's only been a couple of years removed, and now. The Chiefs, I mean, I'm sorry, the Patriots are are, are announcing a free agent visit, and when's the last time you've heard that? 